Here we go, folks. It's Hell in a Cell time. DDT. What a strike. Oh, what incredible power. Wow, what a vertical suplex. <laughs> Attack to the midsection. Oh, Mr. McMahon may be starting to fade here. He may have oh, to man. start reevaluating his game plan. Yeah, but he's got a very untraditional approach tonight, which includes spending a great deal of time outside the ring. That might help him in the long run. We'll see. I know it's early, but he has to do everything in his power not to let this get out of hand. Talk about rocking the jaw. He's in control now. You never want to be on the receiving end of one of those. Incoming! We've seen this before. Impact, but he's got to capitalize now. You gotta believe this one's over. Ooh, what impact! Guys, we all know the storied history of Hell in a Cell, but. We'd be remiss if we didn't at least mention that the first time anybody laid eyes on this demonic structure was back in October 1997 at the Bad Blood pay-per-view. Big backdrop. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Right in the mouth. Relent. He's making a statement here with this attack. Corey, we've seen unbelievable championship matches and triple threat contests over the years. You're absolutely right. The fact that a champion does not have to submit or be pinned or be factored in the decision at all to lose their championship is something that can influence their approach to the match. As some would say in a triple threat, you don't have to beat the champ to become the champ. That's a risk that a champion runs when being put in this... I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. My goodness, that connected. Just carrying the opposition here. But you can't carry your opponent all day. You gotta make a move eventually. The superstar always needs to be ready to be attacked by both opponents in a triple threat match. Circumstances create interesting alliances and the numbers game can become your worst enemy. Here he goes. Nailed it. This one is over. <laughs> when this guy's on, boom, good night. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. Just as important as Byron's point about there being no rules inside the cell, the same holds true for outside the cell. Power bomb! That should do it. Your whole body hurts after a move like that. He's got him covered. And he got a near fall out of it. I can't believe it. He just won't go away. Inside the ring now. DDT! Mr. McMahon bought the company that would become WWE. We're going to lock it in here. The tension. The he wins! I can't believe it! He survived this journey through hell! The devil was afoot in this Hell in a Cell match. Let's take another look, guys. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here is your winner, the King, Shaw.
A very decisive victory here tonight. When you win a triple threat match like this, you're telling the entire locker room that you are the one to beat. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. And what an epic Hell in a Cell match we just witnessed.